Hi there everyone, in today's video we will be learning how you can create this awesome slider banner using Elementor for free. Doesn't matter what kind of website you're making because this kind of banner will surely make it so much more interesting. This kind of dynamic banner is all you need to captivate your audience. So without any further ado, let's get to our today's video. So first of all, come to your Elementor canvas. Now since this is a slider banner, in order to show this full effect, we're gonna put some top sections here. So let's just create a simple top section. First of all, click on this plus icon, then choose the flexbox layout. Choose this column direction. Now from under its layout, set the content width to full width. Now scroll down, then set all the gaps values to zero pixels. Now go to the advanced tab. Here unlink the margin values to make them all zero. Now unlink the padding values as well, but only give it a top padding of 130 pixels. Leave the rest as zero. Now inside of this container, we're gonna take another container. So you can click on this plus icon here or this one here. Now we're gonna drag this container widget in here. Now in order to avoid confusion, let's rename these containers. For that, just double click on it. Then I'm gonna rename the first one as banner container. Now let's rename the second one as banner top. Now from under its layout, set the content width to boxed and then give it a width value of 1300 pixels. Then scroll down and make the gaps values zero pixels, all of them. Now go to the advanced tab. Here unlink the padding values to make them all zero. Alright, so this is our main banner container. Now here I'm just gonna put some headings, some buttons, some elements to make a top section so that we can scroll through this section and see the whole effect like this, okay? So let's go back here and I'll be right back after putting down the contents. Alright, so I'm back after putting down some contents as you guys can see. So here we have the top section of our banner. Now inside of this banner container, aligned with this banner top portion, I'm gonna add another container. So right click over here, then click on add new container. And this container will be aligned with this top banner inside of this banner container. Let's rename this one to avoid confusion. In order to rename this container, I'm just gonna double click on it and then type whatever I want to rename this container as. So I'm just gonna type here, scrolling gallery container. There you go. Now just click anywhere and that will be saved. Now once our container is ready, let's do its settings. So from under layout, Make sure the content width is full width and the width value is 100%. Then for minimum height, let's change this pixel scale to VH scale. Then in this field, I'm gonna type 100. Now scroll down and as you guys can see that the gaps values are 20 by default, but I'm gonna make it zero. So both of them, I just typed zero. Now go inside of this additional options dropdown. Here, I'm gonna set the overflow to hidden. I'm doing this so that no matter what effect I put here in this container, it won't overflow from this container and will remain just inside of this container, okay? Now go to the advanced tab, here unlink the margin values, then set the top margin to minus 135 pixels, right to zero, and for bottom, let's change it to minus 150 pixels, then leave left to zero as well. Now for padding, unlink the values by clicking here and make them all zero. So now the container is closer to this writing, you see? Now up next, inside of this scrolling gallery container, we're gonna put the gallery. So click on this plus icon, or this plus icon right here and from the widget section we're gonna take our gallery so in this search widget field let's search for basic gallery so here's the basic gallery widget i'm just gonna drag it in here and let it go in this field there you have it now i'm just gonna select images to put in this gallery for that click on this add images button now here as you guys can see that currently i don't have any images in our wordpress media library so to upload images i'm just gonna go here and then we have to select files to upload in our media library. But before that, we do need the images, right? So for that, you can just go to jimfadigital.com and inside of our website, you'll find this important links. And under the important links, you'll find this button that says download the resources I've used in the tutorial. Now, if you just click here, it will redirect you to all the images that I'll be using in this tutorial. You can just click on this download button and all the images will be downloaded on your device. If you just unzip this file, then you'll get a file just like this one with all the images in it, okay? So let's go back to our Elementor canvas. Now here, I'm just gonna upload the images. So click on select files. Then inside all the images folder, we have all these images. I'm gonna select them all together, then click on open. Now all of the images will get uploaded in my WordPress media library. Now from here, I'm just gonna select them all and then create my gallery. So click on this create a new gallery and click on insert gallery. Now finally here, as you guys can see, all the images have been uploaded and they're showing in our gallery. Now from under its settings, you'll find this image resolution. Let's change it to full. Then for columns, set it to four and leave the rest as they are. Now in order to turn this basic gallery into a scrolling gallery, we have to put down some CSS codes. But no need to worry, don't panic. You guys won't have to learn any coding for this. I've already done the coding, you just need to follow some simple steps and your scrolling gallery will be ready to go. 
So first of all, what we're going to do is go back to gymfadigital.com. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see this slider, curve, shape, effect, CSS, and JS code. I'm just going to copy this whole portion by clicking here, copy to clipboard, then go back to our Elementor canvas. Now, in order to put down this CSS code, we need another widget. So from here, click on this plus icon. Then in this field, search for HTML. So this is the HTML widget. We're just going to drag it here. So drag it down here. So it's aligned with basic gallery, but inside of scrolling gallery, as you guys can see. Now I'm just going to put down the codes here. So right click over here, then click on paste. And we're all done here. Now in order to activate the effects of this code, let's go back to gymfadigital.com, then scroll down to the bottom. And here you'll find slider curve shape CSS class. I'm just going to copy this whole portion as well. Then go back to Elementor. Now go inside of this scrolling gallery container. Then inside of its advanced tab, if we scroll down, you'll find this CSS classes field. Just paste the CSS class name that we just copied in here. So I right click over it and click on paste. Now no need to worry, the effects are not showing in this creation page, but it will show in our final page. So for now, just follow along. Now let's also do the responsive settings for this section so that this section will be visible seamlessly in all kinds of devices. So we can go to the other devices, responsive settings by clicking on these icons. Let's first do the tablet portrait. Here choose this scrolling gallery container, then from under its advanced tab, I'll link the margin values. Now set the top margin to minus 190 pixels and then bottom to minus 200. And we're done with tab, let's go to mobile portrait. Here again, I'll link the margin values. Now set the top margin to minus 227 pixels and bottom margin to minus 200 pixels. Also, choose this basic gallery, go to the advanced tab, then scroll down, go inside of this responsive dropdown. And from here, we're gonna hide it everywhere. So hide on desktop, tablet portrait, and hide on mobile portrait. There you go. So we're all done here. Let's go to the desktop view and publish our precious work up until now. So click on this publish button. Now let me give you guys a preview of the beautiful slider banner that we just created. So we're gonna click on this eyeball icon to preview changes. Click here. And this is the beautiful slider banner that we just created. But there's a slight bit problem as you guys can see. Since this is a slider banner and the effect shows as we scroll down. However, since we don't have any other section on the bottom, we can't really see the full effect of this slider banner. So let's just create another section real quick. And for that, I'm just gonna go to kitpapa.com. In kitpapa.com, they sell all kinds of ready-made template kits for any kind of website for a really cheap price. So I have this all access lifetime deal from them, which is why I can access all their ready-made template kits. As you guys can see, all their website template kits are really super top-notch. So I'm just gonna copy a section from one of their websites and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back after putting down this new section here so that we can scroll further down to see our whole effect of this scrolling gallery. And if you guys want, you can use any section from kitpapa.com or you can just create your own. It's totally up to you. I just put down this section for demonstration purposes so you guys won't have to worry about creating this exact section, okay? All right, so that was a quick section setup. Now let's finally get the entire preview of the slider banner. So let's publish our work by clicking on publish. And now if we go to the front end of our web page, as you guys can see, as we scroll through, the scroller banner will look like this. Amazing, right? Since this is an advanced banner with codes, sometimes the images might take a few seconds to load, but don't worry, the end result will be the same. It would look just like this, as you guys can see here. To make the banner look even more interesting, you can always add background effects, such as this one. Here I've put some greenish designs for aesthetic purposes. I made this one specifically for a client, and he wanted some greenery in the background, so this is how I set it up. This one's also looking great, right? So just like this one, you can also add effects to this one as well. But even if you don't, I think it's still looking pretty cool. Oh, by the way, talking about clients just reminded me that if building websites yourself feels overwhelming, don't worry. We also design websites for clients, from landing pages to full business websites. We do it all. You can reach out to us through jimfadigital.com. I'll leave a link in the description. This was our slider banner. I hope it was useful to you. And if it was, please drop a like and leave a comment about your whole learning experience from this video. So for now, that's it for today's video. I'll meet you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.